Fortress, The Evolution of Cybersecurity. Welcome, fellow travelers in time and cyberspace. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey examining the evolution of cybersecurity, tracing the footprints of a world that has shaped our lives in ways we could never have imagined. Our story begins in a time not too distant, yet almost alien in its simplicity. The late 20th century, an era that witnessed the birth of a digital revolution. Fast forward to our present day and the landscape is vastly different. Our digital town has grown into a sprawling metropolis, buzzing with infinite connections and possibilities. And with this growth, our guardians, the cybersecurity experts, have had to evolve, becoming digital warriors in an unseen battlefield. But how did we get here? What lessons have we learned and what challenges lie ahead? Join me as we unravel the tapestry of our digital fortress, a story of innovation, resilience, and the unending quest to safeguard our digital realm. As we journey further into the heart of our digital past, we encounter another pivotal moment in our story, the growing dependence on digital systems. It was a time when the digital world started to intertwine with our everyday lives, inching closer to becoming an indispensable part of our existence. Picture a world rapidly transforming under the influence of digital innovation. Computers, once regarded as high-tech luxuries, began to assert themselves as household necessities. Businesses, big and small, started to rely heavily on digital data and online transactions. The Internet, once a novelty, became a crucial tool for communication, commerce, and information exchange. With this digital expansion came a wave of optimism. The boundless potential of the Internet promised a future where distance and time were no longer barriers. We reveled in the newfound power of instant connectivity, unaware of the shadows that this light was casting. But with every leap in digital reliance came a growing vulnerability. The Internet, initially a playground of innovation, was slowly revealing its darker side. Cyber threats, once theoretical, began to manifest in very real ways. From simple viruses to more sophisticated hacking attempts, the digital world was no longer just a place of exploration. It was becoming a battleground. This escalation in digital dependence called for a parallel escalation in cybersecurity. It was no longer just about protecting data. It was about safeguarding our way of life. Banks, governments, healthcare systems, every entity that had transitioned to the digital realm found itself in need of robust defenses against an invisible enemy. We're left to ponder. How did we transition from viewing the digital world as a tool to recognizing it as a territory needing defense? This question leads us into the next phase of our journey, where cybersecurity emerges from the shadows to become a beacon of protection in our increasingly digital lives. As we continue our digital odyssey, we come to a poignant, somewhat overlooked point in our tale, the voices of concern. Amidst the digital euphoria, there were those who peered into the future with a critical eye, sounding alarms about the potential threats lurking within our burgeoning cyber world. Imagine a small group of visionaries, the early guardians of the digital realm. They were the sentinels at a time when most were dazzled by the Internet's promise. These experts, some seen as doomsayers, were actually the unsung prophets of the cyber age. Their warnings were clear yet subtle, often lost in the cacophony of digital advancement. They spoke of vulnerabilities in our networks, the potential for data breaches, and the possibility of digital espionage. It was a time when such threats were mere shadows, barely perceptible in the bright light of technological progress. But their cautionary words were often met with indifference. Corporations racing to digitalize viewed cybersecurity as a secondary concern, an unnecessary break on the wheels of progress. The public, enamored with the new digital freedoms, couldn't fathom the concept of cyber threats. This collective disregard for early warnings set the stage for the cyber vulnerabilities we grapple with today. The scene shifts to show the stark contrast between the early cautionary advice and the present-day reality of frequent cyber attacks and data breaches. What if we had listened? How different would our digital landscape be if those early voices of concern had been heeded? This reflective pause sets the stage for the next phase of our story the awakening to the reality of cyber threats. Our digital history is punctuated by moments of revelation, and none more so than the arrival of the first cyber threats. Today we delve into three seminal moments that reshaped our digital world. The Creeper virus, the Morris worm, and the I Love You virus. Let us turn the clock back to a time when the digital world was still in its relative infancy to recount the tale of an entity that would mark the beginning of a new epoch in cybersecurity. 
the creeper virus. This was not just a program, it was the harbinger of the age of computer viruses, a simple piece of code that would spawn an industry dedicated to digital defense. In the early 1970s, an experimental program quietly emerged within the confines of ARPANET, the precursor to the internet. This program, dubbed the Creeper, was revolutionary. It was self-replicating, a piece of software designed to move across the network autonomously, seeking out machines to inhabit. The Creeper was an oddity, an experiment in what could be done with the burgeoning technology of networked computers. It was not malicious in intent. Rather, it was the curiosity of a programmer materialized into code, a question posed to the digital universe. Can a program move and multiply? What set the Creeper apart was its behavior. Upon infecting a system, it displayed a simple, taunting message. I'm the Creeper, catch me if you can. Then it would attempt to transfer itself to the next system leaving its digital graffiti as it moved. The Creeper did not damage or alter data. It simply replicated and spread a digital nomad in the vast expanse of connected machines. Yet, its significance lay in what it represented. The potential for software to self-propagate, to exist beyond the confines of the machine that spawned it. The Creeper's presence did not go unnoticed. It prompted a response, the creation of a program known as the Reaper, some say the world's first antivirus software. The Reaper was designed to move through the network as well, seeking out the Creeper and removing it from infected systems. This cat-and-mouse game between the Creeper and the Reaper was not just a technical exercise. It was a formative moment in the history of cybersecurity. It demonstrated that computer programs could not only spread through networks, but could also be countered by other programs. Though the Creeper virus itself was harmless, its legacy was anything but. It opened the door to the concept of computer viruses, of malicious software that could disrupt, destroy, or steal. It was a proof of concept that would lead to the development of more sinister programs and, in turn, spur the growth of cybersecurity measures. The Creeper also contributed to the cultural understanding of computer viruses. It entered the collective consciousness of the computing community, a cautionary tale of what could happen in a world increasingly reliant on digital systems. The Creeper virus, in its simplicity, sparked complex questions about computer security, privacy, and the ethics of software development. Its echoes can still be heard in today's cybersecurity conversations, a reminder that the seeds of our digital present were sown in the experimental playgrounds of the past. As we continue to leaf through the pages of cyber history, we pause at an event that stands as a stern lesson in unintended consequences, the tale of the Morris Worm. This was not merely a blip in the timeline, but a seismic event that would forever alter the digital landscape and awaken the world to the importance of cybersecurity. The year was 1988, and the Internet, a fledgling network of computers, was about to experience a shock to its system. Robert Tappan Morris, a graduate student with a curious mind, crafted a worm, a piece of software designed to measure the size of the Internet. Morris's creation was a worm, a type of malware that is self-replicating and self-propagating. Unlike a virus, which attaches itself to files, a worm operates independently, exploiting vulnerabilities to spread from machine to machine. Morris unleashed the worm into the digital wilds, but due to a critical miscalculation, the worm replicated and spread at a rate far beyond his intentions. Instead of harmless reconnaissance, the worm began to consume system resources, slowing down computers to a crawl and rendering them unusable. The worm exploited known vulnerabilities in Unix systems, such as the sendmail debug mode and weak passwords. It was an early example of how a program could use such exploits to gain unauthorized access and spread itself across a network. The Morris worm was groundbreaking in its impact. It affected approximately 6,000 computers, which, at the time, was a significant percentage of machines on the network. The cost of the damage and the ensuing removal efforts ran into millions of dollars, a staggering sum for that era. But the true cost of the Morris worm was not just financial, it was the loss of naivety. The worm's proliferation was a stark demonstration that the burgeoning internet was vulnerable. Not just theoretically, but in a real and tangible way. In the wake of the worm's infestation, the computing world was forced to reckon with its implications. The Morris worm spurred the creation of the Computer Emergency Response Team Coordination Center, CERTCC, the first organization of its kind dedicated to cybersecurity. This event also prompted the broader internet community to begin taking security seriously. It led to increased research in network vulnerabilities, the development of patches and updates to close security loopholes, 
and a new awareness among users about the importance of strong passwords and network security practices. Morris became the first person to be convicted under the 1986 Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. This legal action underscored the burgeoning relationship between cybersecurity and the law, setting a precedent for how cybercrimes would be viewed and prosecuted. The fallout from the Morris worm also sparked debate about the ethics of software creation and the responsibilities of programmers. It raised questions about the fine line between intellectual curiosity and the potential for widespread harm. The Morris Worm's legacy is a complex one. It is both a cautionary tale of a cyber experiment gone awry and a catalyst for the cybersecurity measures we now consider commonplace. It remains a touchstone in cyber history, reminding us that with great power comes great responsibility, and with every innovation the potential for unintended consequences. Join me as we revisit a moment in cyber history that would forever change the landscape of digital security, a moment when a simple declaration of affection became a code for chaos, the I love you virus. It was a global phenomenon that redefined the potential scale of cyber threats and underscored the fragility of our interconnected world. In the spring of the year 2000, a digital love letter began to circulate through email systems worldwide. This message, ostensibly a romantic overture, bore an attachment that harbored a destructive script. When opened, the attachment executed a piece of malware later known as the I Love You virus that would go down in history as one of the most widespread and damaging viruses ever unleashed. The virus, originating in the Philippines, was not crafted by seasoned cyber criminals, but by young programmers experimenting with the power of code. Their creation tapped into a fundamental human emotion, the desire for connection and acknowledgement. Like a wildfire, the virus spread from inbox to inbox across continents and oceans at an unprecedented pace. Each unwitting click on the attachment by an unsuspecting user propagated the virus further, illustrating the profound impact of social engineering in cybersecurity breaches. The I Love You virus's payload was as poetic as it was perilous. It overwrote files, replicated itself, and then used the victim's email system to propagate, perpetuating a cycle of infection that would eventually reach millions of computers, including those of corporations, governments, and home users. The consequences of the I Love You virus were far-reaching and multifaceted. Economically, it caused billions of dollars in damages due to data loss, system downtime, and recovery efforts. But beyond the financial toll, it eroded trust in digital communication and exposed the vulnerabilities inherent in a rapidly digitizing society. The virus forced a re-examination of email security practices and highlighted the importance of caution in the face of unsolicited digital correspondence. It was a stark reminder of the need for robust cybersecurity measures and user education. In response to the crisis, software vendors, security firms, and IT professionals worked tirelessly to develop patches and updates. The I Love You virus catalyzed advancements in antivirus software, email filtering techniques, and the broader field of intrusion detection. The virus also precipitated a shift in legal frameworks governing cyber activities. The lack of cybercrime laws in the Philippines at the time of the virus led to the drafting of new legislation, both locally and internationally, aimed at preventing such disruptions in the future. Beyond technology and law, the I Love You virus had a profound effect on public awareness of cyber threats. It became a symbol of the importance of cybersecurity and the need for vigilance in the digital age. The incident spurred individuals and organizations to take a more proactive stance on digital hygiene, data backup, and skepticism of unsolicited communication. Beyond technology and law, the I Love You virus had a profound effect on public awareness of cyber threats. It became a symbol of the importance of cybersecurity and the need for vigilance in the digital age. The incident spurred individuals and organizations to take a more proactive stance on digital hygiene, data backup, and skepticism of unsolicited communications. Today, the I Love You virus stands as a watershed moment in cyber history, a global phenomenon that demonstrated the devastating potential of digital threats and the interconnectedness of our digital lives. It was a lesson in both the power of human emotion and the importance of cybersecurity, a reminder that in the digital domain, our greatest strengths can also be our greatest vulnerabilities. As we navigate the turning points in our digital history, we arrive at a moment that unequivocally shook the world, the I Love You virus. This seemingly innocuous piece of code masquerading as a token of affection would go on to sound a global alarm on cybersecurity vulnerabilities. In the year 2000, the digital world witnessed a contagion of a different sort. 
The I Love You virus originating from the Philippines spread across the globe at an unprecedented speed. It was a masterclass in social engineering, exploiting human curiosity and trust. The I Love You. Virus's impact was immediate and staggering. It is estimated to have infected tens of millions of computers, including those in corporations and government agencies, causing estimated damages upwards of $10 billion. The virus crippled email systems and brought critical operations to a halt from banks to television networks. This unprecedented scale of disruption was a stark demonstration of the Internet's interconnectedness and its vulnerabilities. The virus highlighted how easily digital trust could be exploited and how devastating the consequences could be. In the aftermath of the I Love You virus, a digital storm that swept across the globe, we stand witness to a paradigm shift, a profound reorientation in the way we perceive and approach cybersecurity. The virus, with its beguilingly simple yet destructive payload, sent shockwaves through the corridors of businesses, governments, and homes alike. It shattered any lingering illusions of impenetrable digital fortresses and laid bare the urgent need for a new approach to cybersecurity. In the days following the virus's spread, there was a scramble to strengthen digital defenses. Antivirus companies worked around the clock to update their databases and software, while IT professionals and end users became acutely aware of the dangers of complacency. The I Love You virus spurred a significant advancement in digital hygiene. It heralded the importance of regular system updates, the necessity of robust backup protocols, and the implementation of stronger email security measures, such as advanced spam filters and attachment scanning. Educational campaigns took center stage, informing the public about the perils of phishing emails and the importance of scrutinizing every click. The concept of cybersecurity awareness became ingrained in the consciousness of the digital populace, marking the beginning of a more vigilant and informed user base. From the chaos wrought by the virus, new legislation and policies emerged. The incident illustrated the need for comprehensive cybercrime laws that could transcend borders and hold malicious actors accountable. It served as a catalyst for international dialogue and cooperation on cybersecurity matters. Nations began to reevaluate and fortify their legal arsenals against cyber threats, leading to the establishment of cybercrime units and the adoption of treaties aimed at fostering cross border collaboration in the fight against cybercrime. Corporations, too, underwent a metamorphosis in their approach to cyber risks. The I Love You virus demonstrated that cybersecurity was not just an IT issue, but a business imperative that could impact continuity, reputation, and the bottom line. Investments in cybersecurity infrastructure surged. Risk assessment and incident response planning became integral to business strategies. Organizations began to adopt more holistic cybersecurity frameworks that included not just technical defenses, but also employee training and engagement at every level. The virus also contributed to the rise of cybersecurity as a distinct profession. Demand for cybersecurity expertise skyrocketed, leading to the proliferation of specialized training programs, certifications, and academic courses. Cybersecurity professionals became sought-after assets in an increasingly digital economy. Perhaps the most significant shift was the move from reactive to proactive cyber defense strategies. The understanding that it was not enough to respond to threats after the fact led to the development of predictive analytics, threat hunting, and proactive cyber intelligence gathering. This shift saw the birth of proactive measures like threat hunting teams, red teaming exercises, and penetration testing as standard practices, all designed to identify and rectify vulnerabilities before they could be exploited. As we reflect on the cybersecurity paradigm shift induced by the I Love You virus, we recognize it as a turning point, a moment that galvanized a global movement towards stronger, more resilient digital defenses. It was a painful lesson, but one that taught us the value of anticipation, preparation, and the relentless pursuit of innovation in the face of ever-evolving cyber threats. In the wake of the I Love You virus, the digital world found itself at a crossroads, one that called for a reassessment of the legal and policy frameworks that underpinned the burgeoning cyberspace. It was a moment of reckoning, where the intangible nature of cyber threats clashed with the concrete necessity for governance and order. Before the I Love You virus, cyber law was a nascent field, often piecemeal and reactive. Many jurisdictions lacked the specific legal mechanisms to address, much less prosecute cyber crimes effectively. The virus's global rampage illuminated the gaps and discrepancies in international cyber law. 
In the Philippines, where the virus originated, the absence of applicable cybercrime laws meant that the perpetrators could not be held accountable under existing statutes. This glaring loophole showcased the need for legal systems worldwide to evolve in tandem with technological progress. Prompted by the virus's fallout, a surge in legislative activity ensued. Countries around the globe began to draft, enact, and amend laws specifically targeting cybercrimes. The virus had made it clear. The digital realm was not beyond the reach of law. It was a domain as real and as vulnerable as any physical space. Legislators worked to define cybercrime in legal terms, to establish jurisdictional reach for digital offenses, and to set penalties that reflected the seriousness of such crimes. The I Love You virus was a catalyst for the creation of comprehensive cybercrime laws that recognized the unique challenges of policing the digital world. Beyond individual nations, the virus prompted a wave of international cooperation. Cybercrime, by nature, knows no borders, and the response to it demanded a collective, coordinated effort. Agreements and treaties began to take shape, with nations coming together to establish common ground in the fight against digital threats. Organizations such as the Council of Europe drafted landmark treaties, like the Budapest Convention on Cybercrime, facilitating international cooperation on investigation and prosecution of computer crimes, setting a precedent for global legal standards in cybersecurity. In the private sector, the I Love You virus led to a re-evaluation of policies and practices. Businesses recognized the need for robust cybersecurity policies that extended beyond IT departments into every facet of operations. Cybersecurity became a boardroom concern with policies focusing on risk management, incident response, and recovery planning. Companies began to invest in cybersecurity insurance, develop comprehensive data protection policies, and foster partnerships with law enforcement and other businesses to share intelligence and best practices. The I Love You virus also shone a spotlight on the importance of data protection and privacy. The ease with which the virus spread and accessed personal data led to heightened public awareness and concern over data privacy. This, in turn, influenced policies and regulations, such as the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, in the European Union, which redefined data privacy laws on an unprecedented scale. The legal and policy changes that ensued in the aftermath of the I Love You virus were profound and far-reaching. They marked a transition from a reactive stance to a proactive one, where anticipation and preparedness became the cornerstones of legal and policy frameworks. The virus, in its destructive path, left behind an indelible mark that shaped the very structures that govern our digital lives today. As we reflect on the legacy of the I Love You virus, it stands as a pivotal moment in our digital narrative. It was a rude awakening to the vulnerabilities embedded in our interconnected world and a reminder that in the realm of cyberspace, our greatest strengths can also be our most critical weaknesses. Continuing on our collective digital memory, we come upon a defining era, the robust emergence of the cybersecurity industry. This was not just an evolution, it was a revolution in the digital landscape, a response to the clarion calls of cyber threats that echoed across cyberspace. Let us cast our gaze back to a pivotal juncture in our digital heritage, the dawning of cybersecurity consciousness. It is a moment where, like the first rays of sunlight piercing the night, awareness began to illuminate the hidden dangers in the digital dawn. At the outset of our collective cyber journey, the Internet was a frontier of limitless possibilities. Security was a secondary thought and afterward to the narrative of connectivity and innovation. The notion that this interconnected network could be exploited for nefarious ends was not yet fully realized or understood. This innocence was partly due to the rarity of cyber incidents and partly due to a nascent understanding of digital systems. The early adopters of the Internet were a community of academics, researchers, and enthusiasts united by a trust inherent in a shared purpose of exploration and expansion. But as the network expanded, drawing in a diverse populace and hosting a wealth of sensitive data, the rose-tinted glasses began to dim. The I Love You virus was among the first major alarms to sound, a startling wake-up call that echoed in every corner of cyberspace. It wasn't just the scale of the attack, but the simplicity of its execution that jolted the collective conscience. A single click was all it took to unleash chaos, proving that the threat was not external but nestled within the very fabric of the digital realm. Following the wake-up call, cybersecurity swiftly rose from an optional feature to a priority. Businesses, governments, and individuals began to comprehend the gravity of digital threats. 
It became clear that in the same way we lock our doors and secure our physical assets, we must also guard our digital presence. This realization marked the beginning of cybersecurity as we know it. Investments in digital defenses soared, cybersecurity firms proliferated, and a new industry was born. From antivirus software to complex network security solutions, the market responded with a surge of innovation. Beyond technology, a cultural shift took place. Cybersecurity became part of the societal lexicon, discussed in news outlets, portrayed in popular media, and debated in policy circles. There was a burgeoning recognition that everyone has a stake in cybersecurity. This shift also saw the advent of cybersecurity education with schools and universities incorporating it into their curricula. Public service campaigns informed citizens about password hygiene, the risks of sharing personal information, and the signs of a phishing scam. In the grand theater of our modern world, where every aspect of our lives intertwines with the digital, we now observe how cybersecurity has seamlessly woven itself into the fabric of our daily existence. At the dawn of the Internet age, cybersecurity was a term relegated to the corridors of corporations and the basements of government agencies. However, as the I love you virus so starkly demonstrated, the need for cyber vigilance was not confined to these institutions. It was a collective responsibility, one that each individual had to bear. The realization dawned that cyber threats were not distant storms on the horizon, but immediate concerns that could affect anyone. This ushered in an era where cybersecurity practices became as routine as locking one's front door. Antivirus software, once a specialist tool, became a household necessity. And the complexities of firewalls and encryption began to enter everyday conversations. As the Internet of Things, IoT, expanded, bringing with it a proliferation of connected devices, the integration of cybersecurity into daily life took on new dimensions. Home routers began to come with built-in security features, smart appliances received regular firmware updates, and the concept of securing one's personal network became as commonplace as home maintenance. Parents started to teach their children about online safety as fervently as they taught them to look both ways before crossing the street. Cybersecurity awareness permeated education, with schools incorporating internet safety into their curricula and students learning about digital footprints from an early age. The market responded to this heightened awareness with a surge in consumer-focused cybersecurity services. VPNs, secure messaging apps, and privacy-focused search engines transitioned from niche products to mainstream staples. Cybersecurity was no longer a luxury or an afterthought. It was an integral part of the consumer's digital toolkit. Financial institutions played their part, too, by implementing multi-factor authentication and educating customers on the signs of financial fraud. Online shopping platforms and payment services began to champion secure transactions, employing sophisticated algorithms to detect and prevent fraudulent activities. The workplace also adapted, with cybersecurity becoming an integral part of corporate culture. From multinational corporations to small businesses, cyber risk assessments and response protocols became standard operating procedures. Employees, regardless of their role, received training on best cyber practices, recognizing that a secure organization is the sum of its aware and proactive parts. Cybersecurity drills and simulations became as regular as fire drills, and secure password policies were enforced with rigor. Companies began to appreciate that a secure digital environment contributes to overall productivity and trust. On the governance front, public services and government agencies integrated cybersecurity into their operations. Voter databases, public records, and utility services all underwent digital fortification, ensuring that the bedrock of our civic life was shielded from digital incursions. Citizens engaged with e-government services with the assurance that cybersecurity was a top priority. From renewing licenses to filing taxes, secure digital portals became the norm, reflecting the integration of cybersecurity into the very mechanisms of governance. As we close this scene on the integration of cybersecurity in daily life, we find a landscape fundamentally altered by the recognition that cybersecurity is not a separate sphere, but a dimension of our existence that touches upon every aspect of our digital interactions. It is an affirmation that the security of our digital lives is as intrinsic as the very technologies that empower them. From antivirus software to secure communication protocols, the industry began to diversify its arsenal. Cybersecurity was no longer a game of whack-a-mole, reacting to threats as they appeared. It became a strategic chess match, anticipating moves, understanding the adversary, and building a resilient defense. Innovation became the industry's heartbeat. 
Startups with bright ideas received the lifeblood of funding needed to transform their concepts into reality. We saw the emergence of next-generation firewalls, the deployment of advanced endpoint detection systems, and the rise of cloud security platforms, each more sophisticated than the last. In the sprawling tapestry of cybersecurity narratives, there exists a vibrant thread that runs through the very core of modern organizations, the establishment of cybersecurity as a culture. This is more than a practice. It's a collective mindset, a shared ethic, and a universal commitment woven into the fabric of every successful institution. Once upon a digital era, cybersecurity was the domain of the few, the technologists and specialists who stood watch over burgeoning networks. But as threats like the I love you virus exposed vulnerabilities, the narrative shifted. Cybersecurity transcended its technical confines and became a cultural imperative. A cybersecurity culture is not born, it is carefully cultivated. It grows from the understanding that technology alone cannot shield an organization from threats. It requires the active participation of every individual, from the CEO to the newest intern, in fostering a secure operational environment. The pillars of this culture are education, empowerment, and engagement. Education ensures that every member of the organization understands the risks and knows how to respond. Empowerment gives individuals the tools and authority to act on security concerns. Engagement creates a sense of ownership, where security becomes a part of personal values. In a robust cybersecurity culture, security protocols are not seen as hurdles, but as enablers of business continuity and trust. Secure practices become as natural as any other aspect of work life, integrated seamlessly into daily routines and decision-making processes. Leadership plays a pivotal role in fostering cybersecurity culture. When leaders prioritize security, allocate resources, and model secure behaviors, they send a clear message. Cybersecurity is critical to the organization's success and survival. It's a leadership that acknowledges the shared responsibility we all have in protecting our collective digital ecosystem. Moreover, leadership in cybersecurity culture means creating an environment where transparency is valued and where reporting potential threats is encouraged and rewarded. It's about moving away from a culture of blame and towards one of resilience and continuous improvement. Embark with me now on a journey through the landscape of innovation, where the rise of cybersecurity solutions marks a definitive pivot of our digital epic. It's a story of human ingenuity in the face of growing cyber adversity, a narrative of the relentless pursuit of safety in the shadowy realms of cyberspace. In conclusion, cybersecurity as a culture is the embodiment of a proactive stance against threats. It's the collective effort that fortifies defenses, not just through technology, but through the day-to-day -day actions of every individual. As we weave this culture into the very essence of our organizations, we create a resilient and secure foundation for the future. In the still smoldering craters left by the I love you virus and its ilk, the digital world, once reeling from the shock of vulnerability, found solace in the emergence of robust cybersecurity solutions. It was an era marked by a collective call to arms, where developers, engineers, and visionaries convened to construct the digital bulwarks that would defend our global networks. Innovation took center stage as antivirus software evolved into sophisticated suites capable of preemptive action, firewalls became more intelligent, and intrusion detection systems more intuitive. These solutions were the vanguard, the first line in a multi-layered defense strategy that sought to anticipate, deflect, and counteract the ever-shifting tactics of cyber assailants. As cybersecurity solutions matured, they embraced the complexities of the digital age. No longer were they simple guardians against viruses and worms. They became complex ecosystems capable of learning, adapting, and responding to threats in real time. These solutions began to employ the power of the cloud for expansive threat intelligence, leveraging data from around the globe to identify and neutralize threats before they could strike. Machine learning algorithms parsed through petabytes of data, recognizing patterns and predicting breaches with an accuracy previously deemed impossible. The market responded to the demand for cybersecurity with a rich diversity of offerings. Solutions became more specialized, targeting everything from mobile devices to industrial control systems. Consumers could choose from a plethora of security products, each tailored to meet the unique challenges of different digital environments. Cybersecurity solutions expanded to include not just reactive measures, but proactive strategies. Ethical hacking and red team exercises became common practice, simulating cyber attacks to test the resilience of systems and to train security teams in threat response. 
Businesses began to integrate cybersecurity into their core processes, recognizing that a breach could compromise more than data. It could erode trust, tarnish reputations, and have catastrophic financial repercussions. Cybersecurity due diligence became integral to mergers and acquisitions, and risk assessments became more nuanced, accounting for a vast array of cyber threats. This integration also extended to the development lifecycle of products and services, with security being considered from the outset, a concept known as security by design. Companies began to understand that security wasn't an add-on, but a fundamental component of all technological innovation. As we reflect on the rise of cybersecurity solutions, we see a landscape forever changed by the recognition that the digital world is an extension of our physical reality, deserving of the same vigilance and protection. These solutions are not just tools. They are the embodiment of a commitment to safeguard the intangible yet invaluable assets of our time, our data, our privacy, our digital identities. In the global theater of cybersecurity, a compelling scene unfolds, one where partnerships and alliances form the bulwark against a tide of cyber threats. This scene is about collaboration, the unification of forces across nations and sectors, and the shared commitment to defend our collective digital frontiers. In the wake of widespread cyber threats like the I Love You virus, it became evident that isolated efforts were akin to patching holes in a dam with mere fingers. Cybersecurity needed a unified front, a coalition of expertise, resources, and intelligence. Thus, global partnerships and alliances began to take shape, transcending geographical, political, and corporate barriers. These alliances are the embodiment of the adage, unity is strength. They bring together private corporations, government agencies, and non-governmental organizations in a shared quest to fortify defenses against those who would do harm through the digital medium. One of the keystones of these alliances is the power of information sharing. Threat intelligence, once closely guarded, is now exchanged freely among allies, allowing for a rapid response to emerging threats and a collective advancement in threat mitigation strategies. Information Sharing and Analysis Centers, ISACs, and Information Sharing and Analysis Organizations, ISAOs, sprouted up in various sectors, from finance to healthcare, from energy to manufacturing. These entities serve as hubs where critical security information is shared, analyzed, and disseminated. Joint cybersecurity initiatives became the order of the day. Cyber exercises like the Cyberstorm series organized by the United States Department of Homeland Security simulate large-scale cyber incidents to test resilience and response mechanisms across organizations and borders. These exercises are not mere drills. They are invaluable learning experiences that highlight weaknesses, test inter-organizational communication, and reinforce the importance of working in concert against complex cyber attacks. Global partnerships have also led to the formation of cybersecurity frameworks and best practices that serve as benchmarks for organizations around the world. Frameworks like the NIST Cybersecurity Framework provide a common language and a set of standards that help align security efforts across the globe. The harmonization of cybersecurity standards ensures that as businesses operate across borders, they maintain a consistent and high level of security, respecting the interconnected nature of modern commerce and communication. Yet, forming and maintaining these global partnerships is not without challenges. Differences in legal systems, privacy regulations, and economic interests can create friction. The spirit of cooperation must be continually nurtured, requiring diplomacy, negotiation, and a shared recognition of the common threat that cybercrime poses to all. In the grand narrative of cybersecurity, global partnerships and alliances are a testament to what can be achieved when we stand together. They are our collective response to a borderless threat, a demonstration of solidarity that spans continents and sectors. In this unity, we find not only defense, but also a proactive force for a safer, more secure digital world for all. In the vast narrative of cybersecurity, there emerges a crucial plotline, the role of cybersecurity in the public sphere. This scene unfolds as a testament to the critical importance of cyber defenses beyond the private sector, in the very fabric of our public lives and institutions. The revelation that cybersecurity is not just a private affair, but a public concern came sharply into focus with incidents like the I Love You virus. It became clear that the public sector's digital infrastructure, the services that underpin civic life, was as vulnerable to attack as any business. Governments around the world took note, understanding that the protection of public infrastructure, services, and information is paramount to national security and public trust. 
Thus began the concerted effort to bolster the cyber defenses of public institutions. Public cybersecurity initiatives saw increased funding and the implementation of strategic frameworks. National cybersecurity agencies were established and empowered, tasked with protecting critical infrastructure, from power grids to water systems, from transportation networks to health services. These agencies became the sentinels, working tirelessly to shield the public sphere from cyber threats. They set standards for cybersecurity, provided guidance and coordinated with international partners to fortify against the constant barrage of digital threats. The interdependence between the public and private sectors became more pronounced as both realized the symbiotic nature of their cybersecurity efforts. Public-private partnerships flourished, creating a nexus where government agencies and private entities collaborated to enhance the nation's cyber posture. These partnerships facilitated the sharing of threat intelligence, the development of cybersecurity talent, and the co-creation of innovative solutions to protect the public domain. They underscored the notion that cybersecurity is a shared responsibility, one that requires concerted action from all societal actors. Cybersecurity in the public sphere also meant the democratization of cybersecurity knowledge. Public awareness campaigns became widespread, seeking to educate citizens on the importance of cyber hygiene, the risks of digital scams, and the fundamental practices of safeguarding personal information. E-government initiatives thrived, but with the proliferation of services came the need for secure digital identities and robust authentication mechanisms. The public was introduced to concepts such as multi-factor authentication and digital signatures, integrating cybersecurity seamlessly into everyday transactions and interactions. The evolution of public cybersecurity consciousness transformed it into a form of civic duty. Just as citizens have a role in upholding laws and contributing to the welfare of their communities, they also have a part to play in maintaining the cybersecurity of their nation. Voting systems, census data, public records, all these pillars of democracy required not just government protection, but also the vigilance and care of the citizens they serve. Cybersecurity became enshrined as a pillar of modern civic responsibility. As this scene concludes, we recognize that cybersecurity in the public sphere is an ongoing narrative, one that evolves with each technological advance and every new threat. It's a narrative where every citizen is both audience and actor, playing a part in the grand production of our collective security and prosperity in the digital age. Amidst the unfolding narrative of cybersecurity, there's a dynamic subplot rich with opportunity and growth, the evolution of cybersecurity careers. This scene is dedicated to the men and women who stand as the sentinels of our digital fortress, their careers as varied and vital as the threats they combat. Turn back the pages to the dawn of computer networks where cybersecurity careers were but a small and specialized niche. ET professionals often wore multiple hats and cybersecurity was a term scarcely used or understood outside of certain government or academic circles. But as the digital landscape grew more complex and interconnected, and as threats like the I love you virus laid bare the vulnerabilities of our systems, a seismic shift occurred. Cybersecurity emerged as a critical, distinct profession, attracting those with a penchant for technology and a passion for safeguarding the digital commons. As the field expanded, so did the roles within it. No longer were cybersecurity professionals simply tasked with installing antivirus software or monitoring network traffic. They became architects of intricate security systems, forensic experts, compliance officers, and incident responders. Specializations emerged. Ethical hackers tasked with finding vulnerabilities before they could be exploited. Cryptographers weaving complex algorithms to protect data. And policy advisors bridging the gap between technology and governance. Parallel to this diversification was the growth of cybersecurity. Each branch of this evolutionary tree reflects the growing complexity and necessity of encryption in a world that increasingly lives and breathes data. The roots of digital encryption have thus given life to a flourishing canopy that shelters our most private digital interactions. Each branch of this evolutionary tree reflects the growing complexity and necessity of encryption in a world that increasingly lives and breathes data. The roots of digital encryption have thus given life to a flourishing canopy that shelters our most private digital interactions. In closing, the roots of digital encryption have grown deep and wide supporting an infrastructure that is now inseparable from the fabric of our digital society. From the early days of DES to the complex algorithms of today, encryption has stood as the silent sentinel of our digital age, ever guarding the sanctity of our data and the freedoms that come with it. 
As our story continues, the digital tapestry where secrecy intersects with technology, the roots of digital encryption lie deep and vast. This scene traverses the cryptic beginnings of digital encryption, from its inception to its pivotal role in shaping the secure communications of today. The genesis of digital encryption can be traced back to the realm of wartime communication, where the need for secrecy was paramount. Yet, it wasn't until the digital revolution took hold that encryption transformed from a tactical art to a cornerstone of civilian digital security. In the 1970s, the Data Encryption Standard, DES, emerged as the progenitor of modern digital encryption, a symmetric key algorithm that became the de facto method for protecting sensitive electronic information. DES's adoption by the U.S. government as a federal standard cemented its legacy, setting a precedent for the cryptographic protection of information. As the digital age advanced, the limitations of DES and other symmetric systems became apparent, giving rise to the development of asymmetric cryptography. This breakthrough, often referred to as public key cryptography, revolutionized the field by allowing two parties to exchange encrypted messages securely without sharing a secret key in advance. The introduction of the RSA algorithm, named after its inventors Rivest, Shamir, and Adelman, marked a significant milestone in the encryption narrative. It enabled secure digital signatures and key exchanges, becoming a bedrock upon which the edifice of digital trust was built. The proliferation of the Internet brought encryption from government and corporate shadows into the public domain. Protocols like SSL and its successor, TLS, began to secure web browsers, enabling e-commerce and private communications over the inherently insecure network. Encryption became a tool of empowerment and privacy, a means for individuals to safeguard their personal information against the burgeoning threats that prowled the digital landscape. It became a public good, essential for the preservation of privacy and the free exchange of ideas. But the path of encryption has not been without controversy. The crypto wars of the 1990s and beyond highlighted the tension between privacy advocates and government entities. The debate centered around the use of encryption and the rights of individuals to protect their digital information versus the needs of law enforcement. Despite the controversies, encryption has continued to evolve with the development of more sophisticated algorithms and the implementation of encryption by default in many services, reflecting a societal shift towards prioritizing privacy. As we stand on the cusp of quantum computing, the roots of digital encryption are once again being tested. The cryptographic community is actively engaged in developing quantum-resistant algorithms to secure our digital future against the potential of quantum computers to break current encryption schemes. In conclusion, the roots of digital encryption are both ancient and modern, a confluence of history and innovation. They remind us that the quest for secure communication is as old as humanity itself and just as crucial today in our interconnected digital world. Encryption remains our silent guardian, an ever-evolving shield against the myriad threats of the digital age. We now turn to an evolutionary moment that represents a transformative leap in the evolution of cybersecurity, the quantum leap in cryptography. It is a pivotal moment where the realms of quantum physics and cybersecurity intersect, promising a future where the art of encryption and decryption could become an unbreachable bastion of privacy. The quantum leap begins with the advent of quantum computing, a paradigm-shattering development in computational power. Unlike classical computers, quantum computers use qubits that can exist in multiple states simultaneously, offering the potential to solve complex problems at speeds unfathomable today. This immense power, however, poses an existential threat to traditional cryptography. Algorithms that would take millennia for classical computers to crack could be unraveled in hours or even minutes by quantum computers. The cryptographic community stood before an unprecedented challenge to reimagine encryption in the face of quantum capabilities. In response, the world's cryptographers began forging new armor in the form of quantum-resistant algorithms. These new cryptographic systems are designed to be secure against the might of quantum computation, ensuring that our digital secrets remain protected in the approaching quantum era. The development of these algorithms is as much a race against time as it is against technology. It's a global endeavor, with governments, academia, and industry collaborating to future-proof our digital infrastructure against the quantum threat. But the quantum leap in cryptography is not just about defense. It also offers a new offensive tool, quantum cryptography. One of its most promising applications is quantum key distribution, QKD, which uses the principles of quantum mechanics to create a theoretically unbreakable encryption. 
QKD harnesses the bizarre behavior of quantum particles, where observing a quantum state inherently changes it. This phenomenon could allow two parties to communicate with absolute certainty that their conversation is secure, as any eavesdropping attempt would be instantly detectable. The quantum leap in cryptography is poised to have profound societal impacts. It promises a world where personal data, state secrets, and financial transactions can traverse the digital space with unparalleled security. The potential of quantum cryptography extends to safeguarding critical infrastructure, securing communications against cyber espionage, and protecting the integrity of democratic processes by securing electronic voting systems. Yet the path to quantum cryptography is strewn with challenges, both technical and ethical. The immense potential of quantum computing and cryptography brings with it questions of accessibility and the risk of creating a disparity between those who have quantum capabilities and those who do not. As we close this scene on the quantum leap in cryptography, we stand at the precipice of a new frontier in cybersecurity. It's a future that holds the promise of unbreakable encryption, balanced by the responsibility to wield this powerful tool wisely and equitably. In the quantum leap, we find not only a revolution in security, but a reflection of our commitment to preserving the sanctity of privacy in an increasingly complex digital world. As we continue to navigate the intricate labyrinth of cybersecurity, we arrive at a scene that is both critical and challenging, the implementation of robust encryption. It is a tale of technological triumphs and trials, reflecting the complex dance between advancing encryption methods and the practical realities of deploying them across diverse platforms. The journey of implementing robust encryption is fraught with technological hurdles. As encryption algorithms become more sophisticated, they demand more processing power, more memory, and more nuanced software integration. These requirements can be particularly burdensome for legacy systems and smaller organizations with limited IT budgets. Developers and engineers labor to embed encryption into everything from messaging apps to enterprise databases, striving to ensure that this layer of security operates seamlessly without degrading the user experience or system performance. One of the greatest challenges in encryption is striking the delicate balance between security and usability. Too often, robust security measures can render a system cumbersome, leading to user frustration and, paradoxically, the creation of workarounds that undermine security. The art of cryptography thus becomes as much about human factors as it is about mathematical algorithms. It requires a deep understanding of user behavior and a commitment to designing systems that are as intuitive as they are impregnable. Beyond the technical aspects, the legislative landscape poses its own set of challenges. Different countries have different laws and regulations regarding encryption, which can make the global deployment of encrypted services a legal minefield. Companies must navigate this patchwork of legislation, ensuring compliance while also advocating for the rights of their users to privacy and security. It's a geopolitical balancing act, one that can have significant implications for the accessibility and strength of encryption worldwide. Educating the public about the benefits and workings of encryption also presents a considerable challenge. Misconceptions abound and encryption can often be mistakenly associated with illicit activities rather than seen as a legitimate and necessary tool for protecting personal and corporate data. Public education campaigns and transparency initiatives by tech companies have sought to demystify encryption promoting an understanding that a secure digital space benefits all users and is essential for fostering trust in digital ecosystems. As encryption techniques evolve, so too do the methods to circumvent them. Cyber criminals and state actors invest considerable resources into breaking encryption, necessitating a continuous cycle of assessment and reinforcement of cryptographic protocols. The challenge for the cybersecurity community is to stay ahead of these threats to anticipate new attack vectors, and to design encryption systems that are resilient against both current and future cracking methodologies. In closing this scene on the challenges of implementing robust encryption, we acknowledge the daunting complexities involved. Yet we also celebrate the undaunted spirit of the cybersecurity community, which continues to innovate, educate, and advocate for encryption as an indispensable shield in our digital armory, protecting the very essence of our privacy and security in an interconnected world. In the unfolding narrative of cybersecurity, there's a pivotal event that stands as a cornerstone of network defense, the birth of the firewall. This tale is not just about the creation of a barrier, but about the inception of a sentinel standing vigilant at the gates of our digital fortresses, 
In the nascent days of the internet, networks were open planes where data roamed free. But as threats emerged, there arose a need for checkpoints, for gatekeepers to monitor and control the flow of information. Thus was the concept of the firewall born. Our journey begins in the late 1980s at the genesis of the modern firewall. Picture the early networks, embryonic yet expanding rapidly, vulnerable to the nascent threats of the digital age. It was here that the firewall was conceived, a digital checkpoint scrutinizing the flow of data between the trusted internal network and the uncharted wilderness of the external world. Initially, firewalls were simple packet filters, examining the headers of packets passing through and making rudimentary decisions based on a set of predefined rules. This was the digital equivalent of a border guard checking passports against a list of known identities. In the chronicles of cybersecurity, a pivotal development stands out, marking an evolution of our digital defenses, the advent of stateful inspection in firewalls. This scene is a testament to the ingenuity of cyber guardians, a leap forward in the strategic protection of our networks. Before the age of stateful inspection, firewalls were simple sentinels, guardians operating on static rules that examined packets in isolation. As the digital landscape grew more complex, the inadequacies of this approach became evident. Cyber threats were evolving and a more dynamic, context-aware defense system was needed. Stateful inspection emerged as a solution, introducing memory to the equation. Firewalls could now remember past communications, creating a state table that tracked every connection traversing the network. This innovation allowed firewalls to watch over the full conversation between sender and receiver, not just the isolated whispers of packets. With stateful inspection, firewalls gained the ability to discern legitimate packets for ongoing conversations from unsolicited ones, significantly improving network security. They could ensure that only packets matching a known active connection were allowed through, while others were scrutinized or blocked. This advancement meant that firewalls could better defend against certain types of network attacks like TCP IP spoofing, where attackers could deceive a firewall by imitating trusted devices. Stateful inspection became a game changer, a strategic advantage in the perpetual cat and mouse game of network security. Implementing stateful inspection, however, introduced new challenges. The increased complexity required more processing power, which could impact network performance. Managing and configuring stateful firewalls demanded a deeper understanding of network protocols and traffic patterns. Moreover, as firewalls became more sophisticated, the task of setting up and maintaining their rule sets became more complex. Network security teams had to balance the fine line between security and functionality, ensuring that the firewalls did not become bottlenecks in the flow of legitimate traffic. Stateful inspection became a foundational technology in the evolution of modern firewalls. It laid the groundwork for the next generation of firewalls, which would integrate even deeper levels of inspection, including application awareness and intrusion prevention systems. Today's firewalls are descendants of this legacy, with stateful inspection at their core, augmented by a host of advanced features that protect networks from a multitude of threats across layers of the OSI model. As we close this scene on stateful inspection and the evolution of firewalls, we acknowledge the transformative impact this technology had on network security. It marks a turning point from passive to active defense, from static to dynamic inspection, and underscores the critical need for adaptability in the architecture of cybersecurity. Our cybersecurity saga now takes us to a transformative moment in the defense of our digital realms, the advent of application layer firewalls. This development marks a critical juncture in the narrative where the guardians of our networks gained a deeper vision and a sharper sword to combat the sophisticated threats that lurk in the data streams. As the digital landscape grew more intricate, so too did the threats. Malicious actors began crafting attacks that could slip through the cracks of traditional stateful inspection firewalls by targeting specific applications and services. It became clear that a new level of scrutiny was necessary, one that could understand and protect the higher level protocols where these threats were emerging. Application layer firewalls stepped onto the stage, armed with the capability to inspect the payload of packets, the actual data being sent, rather than just the headers. This allowed them to see the content of web pages, the commands being sent to a server, the responses of an application, and thereby to enforce a more granular security policy. These application layer firewalls, also known as proxy-based firewalls, became the sophisticated sentries of the cyber domain. 
They could detect and block specific types of attacks, such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and other exploits that target the vulnerabilities in web applications. The advent of these firewalls introduced a new era of security protocols and features, including deep packet inspection, intrusion prevention systems, and sophisticated threat prevention algorithms that could adapt to the ever-changing tactics of cyber adversaries. Implementing application layer firewalls, however, presented its own set of challenges. The in-depth inspection of data required significant processing power, which could lead to latency issues. Integrating these firewalls into existing network architectures required careful planning to ensure that security measures did not impede performance. Moreover, the complexity of configuring and managing these firewalls increased. Network administrators needed to understand the intricacies of various applications and the potential vulnerabilities that could be exploited demanding a higher level of expertise and continuous learning. The introduction of application layer firewalls necessitated a cultural shift in network security. It was no longer sufficient to think of protection in terms of perimeter defense. Security needed to be embedded within the applications themselves. This shift paved the way for the development of security-focused coding practices, regular application updates, and the embedding of security features within the applications. Developers and security experts began to work more closely, fostering a more holistic approach to cybersecurity. In summarizing the advent of application layer firewalls, we observe a scene that is emblematic of the constant evolution required in the field of cybersecurity. It is a narrative that speaks to the need for depth and precision in our defense mechanisms and to the ever-advancing sophistication of both the tools we use and the threats we face. As the cyber saga unfolds, we encounter a critical development in the strategic defense of network security. The rise of Unified Threat Management, or UTM. This scene marks a paradigm shift from isolated security systems to an integrated approach where multiple defensive mechanisms converge into a single unified solution. In the early days, cybersecurity tools were often siloed. Organizations deployed firewalls, antivirus software, intrusion detection systems, and other security appliances independently. While each served a purpose, the lack of cohesion among these tools could lead to gaps in security and an increased burden on IT staff. It became clear that the multiplying array of threats demanded a more holistic approach. Cybersecurity needed to be unified with various lines of defense communicating and operating in concert. The industry responded with the concept of unified threat management, a comprehensive solution that promised simplicity, integration, and broader protection. UTM systems emerged as the multi-tool of network security, versatile platforms that could perform a range of security functions. They combined firewall capabilities with antivirus, anti-spam, intrusion detection and prevention, and even VPN services, all within a single appliance. The appeal of UTM was evident. It simplified network security management, reduced complexity, and provided administrators with a central point of control for a wide array of security tasks. The UTM's consolidated reporting and monitoring tools offered a panoramic view of an organization's security posture. Implementing UTM systems, however, presented its own set of challenges. Integration of disparate security technologies into a single platform raised concerns about performance. There was also the risk of putting too many eggs in one basket. If the UTM system failed, it could leave the network exposed to multiple threats simultaneously. Moreover, the one-size-fits-all nature of early UTM systems meant they might not meet the specific needs of all organizations. Customization and scalability became key considerations as UTMs continued to evolve. Today, UTM systems have grown to encompass a broad suite of security functions tailored to the evolving threat landscape. They incorporate cloud services, advanced threat intelligence, and even sandboxing technologies where potential threats can be safely detonated and studied. Modern UTMs are designed with scalability in mind, serving the needs of small businesses and large enterprises alike. They are no longer just security tools. They are integral components of a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy, providing layers of defense that are both broad and deep. In summing up the rise of unified threat management, we recognize a pivotal moment in cybersecurity history. UTM represents a maturation of network security philosophy, embodying the understanding that in a world of complex, interwoven threats, our defenses must be equally interconnected and intelligent, a unified front in the battle to protect our digital way of life. In the ever-evolving story of network security, a new protagonist has emerged, heralding an era of intelligent and dynamic protection. 
the Next Generation Firewall, NGFW. This scene is about the transformation from traditional rule-based firewalls to smarter, more adaptable guardians of our digital gateways. As digital threats grew more sophisticated, it became apparent that traditional firewalls were no longer adequate. The once reliable packet filters and stateful inspections struggled to keep pace with complex, multi-vector attacks. There was a growing need for a more evolved form of defense, one that could contend with the modern arsenal of cyber threats. Enter the NGFW, an advanced iteration of firewall technology. Unlike its predecessors, NGFWs are not just about controlling access based on IP addresses and ports. They delve deeper, inspecting the granular details of the traffic passing through and making informed decisions based on the content, user identity, and application. NGFWs are equipped with a sophisticated array of features, Integrated Intrusion Prevention Systems, IPS, that detect and block attacks, application awareness that allows granular control over app traffic, and threat intelligence that adapts in real time to emerging dangers. These firewalls are also capable of decrypting and inspecting encrypted traffic, a crucial feature in a time where most network traffic is encrypted. They ensure that this protective layer does not become a veil behind which attackers can hide. The implementation of NGFWs brings with it new considerations. They must be scalable to handle the vast amounts of data traffic characteristic of today's networks, and they require skilled personnel to manage their complex configurations and maintain their sophisticated defenses. The integration of NGFWs into existing network architectures is a strategic endeavor. It involves a careful balance of security and accessibility, ensuring that enhanced security does not impede network performance or disrupt business processes. The advent of NGFWs is not just an upgrade in technology. It is a shift in the cybersecurity paradigm. These firewalls are becoming platforms for broader security ecosystems integrating with cloud services, advanced endpoint protection, and sandboxing technologies. As the landscape of cyber threats continues to evolve, NGFWs stand ready to adapt. Their ability to incorporate future advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning promises a new frontier of predictive security postures, moving from reaction to prevention. The next generation firewall stands as a beacon in the ongoing battle for cybersecurity. It embodies the relentless pursuit of innovation necessary to protect our networks. In the narrative of cybersecurity, NGFWs represent a seminal moment where the guardians of our digital perimeters are not just watchful, but wise. Not just strong, but strategic. As we look ahead in the saga of cybersecurity, we find ourselves at a juncture that promises both innovation and complexity, the future of firewall technology. This scene is a glimpse into the horizon, where firewalls evolve to meet the challenges of an ever-transforming digital landscape. The future of firewall technology is intrinsically linked to the evolving nature of cyber threats. As cyber adversaries become more sophisticated, utilizing advanced techniques and exploiting vulnerabilities in novel ways, firewalls must adapt to stay ahead of the curve. New generations of firewalls will need to possess enhanced threat intelligence capabilities, leveraging machine learning and artificial intelligence to identify and mitigate threats in real time. They will become proactive sentinels, predicting and preventing attacks before they can wreak havoc. Automation will be a cornerstone of future firewall technology. As the volume of network traffic grows exponentially, the ability to automate routine security tasks, such as rule creation and threat response, will be crucial to maintaining effective network defenses. These firewalls will not only detect threats, but also autonomously respond to them, quarantining compromised devices, isolating affected network segments, and adapting security policies dynamically. The future of firewall technology lies in the convergence of security solutions. Firewalls will no longer operate in isolation, but will be integral components of broader security ecosystems collaborating with endpoint protection, cloud security, and threat intelligence platforms. This integration will enable holistic threat visibility and response across the entire security infrastructure. Firewalls will communicate with other security tools, sharing threat intelligence and orchestrating a unified defense strategy. With increased scrutiny on data privacy and regulatory compliance, Future firewalls will also play a pivotal role in ensuring that organizations adhere to data protection laws. They will offer advanced data loss prevention, DLP, capabilities and encryption technologies to safeguard sensitive information. In an era where data breaches have far-reaching consequences, the ability to secure data at rest, in transit, and in use will be paramount. 
While technology will drive the future of firewall technology, the human element remains indispensable. Skilled cybersecurity professionals will continue to be in high demand to configure, manage, and fine-tune these advanced firewalls. Continuous training and education will be essential as firewall technology becomes more complex. The future workforce will need to understand not only how to operate firewalls, but also how to interpret threat intelligence and make strategic security decisions. After discussing the future of firewall technology, we stand at the threshold of a new era in cybersecurity. The guardians of our digital realms are evolving, becoming smarter, more automated, and more interconnected. In the ever-shifting landscape of cyber threats, the future of firewalls promises provide increased hope in our quest for digital security. The firewall has come a long way from its humble beginnings. What started as a simple barrier has evolved into a multifaceted intelligent system of defense, critical to the infrastructure of our digital world. And as the landscape of technology continues to shift, so too will the firewall, ever guarding the gateways to our digital domains. Modern firewalls now stand as the sentinels of network security, equipped with machine learning algorithms that learn and adapt, predicting and mitigating attacks before they can breach the digital perimeter. As we navigate the intricate web of our digital defenses, let us pause and focus our lens on a particularly transformative innovation, intrusion detection and prevention systems, known in the cybersecurity echelons as IDPS. This technology, once a fledgling idea, has burgeoned into a cornerstone of our digital ramparts. Picture the early days of digital networking where the concept of an intrusion was a novel concern. The first generation of intrusion detection systems was a rudimentary affair, akin to alarm systems signaling the presence of an intruder but lacking the means to repel or mitigate the threat. From these initial steps, IDPS has evolved, driven by the relentless pace of cyber threats. No longer just detectors, they have become the automated sentinels of our networks, capable of not only recognizing a potential intrusion, but also taking immediate action to prevent a breach. Delving into the IDPS, we discover a blend of sophisticated detection methods. Signature-based detection remains a staple, matching known threat behaviors against a database of signatures. Yet this is only the first layer of a multi-tiered defense. Anomaly-based detection represents the next tier, a more dynamic approach where deviations from normal network behavior are flagged for investigation. This method relies on the understanding that intrusions often manifest as irregularities in traffic patterns or system behavior. But the industry didn't stop there. Stateful protocol analysis came into play, examining network communication protocols to detect deviations not just in patterns, but in the state of the protocol itself, ensuring that the handshake protocols and data transfers conform to expected norms. The integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning has marked the latest leap forward for IDPS. These systems now harness the power of AI to learn from past incidents, building a continuously evolving understanding of what constitutes a threat. Machine learning algorithms pore over vast datasets, detecting subtle patterns and correlations that elude traditional methods. They predict attack vectors and adapt to new strategies employed by cyber adversaries, often responding to threats in real time with little to no human intervention. And what of the prevention aspect of these systems? Prevention technologies have grown in tandem with detection. Upon detecting a potential threat, IDPS can take a variety of actions, from simple notifications to administrators to the automatic reconfiguration of firewalls to the isolation of compromised systems to prevent the spread of an attack. Prevention systems are the vanguard, the quick response teams of the digital age. They enforce policies, ensure that software patches are up to date, and when necessary, they can execute countermeasures to interrupt an ongoing attack, buying precious time for human responders to assess and act. As we peer into the horizon of cybersecurity, the potential of IDPS stretches out before us. These systems are becoming more predictive, more integrated, and more autonomous, evolving into what some are calling the next generation of defense, the self-defending network. The self-defending network is not a distant dream, but a near reality. With advancements in behavioral analytics, threat intelligence, and proactive response mechanisms, IDPS stands at the frontier of a new era where networks are not just defended, but also self-healing capable of anticipating threats and adapting to them even before they manifest. Closing out our exploration of intrusion detection and prevention systems, we're reminded that the art of defense is not static. It's a discipline marked by constant innovation, 
a testament to the cybersecurity industry's unyielding resolve to stay one step ahead in this ever-evolving game of digital cat and mouse. With the integration of AI, these systems have transcended their original programming. They now predict patterns of attacks, adapt to new threats, and respond in real time, a testament to the industry's innovative spirit. As we delve into the strategic enclaves of cybersecurity, we encounter a powerhouse of defense, security information and event management, known as CM. This vital tool in our digital arsenal exemplifies the fusion of information and intelligence, a central command for the modern-day cyber sentinel. In the early days, before the term SIEM was coined, Security Information Management, SIM, and Security Event Management, CM, were separate entities. SIM was concerned with the storage, analysis, and reporting of security data, while CM focused on real-time monitoring, correlation of events, and notifications. But as the threat landscape expanded, it became evident that a more unified approach was necessary. CM emerged as the convergence of these two streams, a comprehensive solution that merged real-time monitoring with long-term data analysis and reporting. CM systems began as simple aggregators of security logs, but quickly grew in sophistication. They became adept at correlating seemingly unrelated events across a network to identify patterns of malicious activity. This was the digital equivalent of connecting the dots across disparate pieces of a puzzle to reveal the bigger picture. But correlation was just the start. CM evolved to include advanced analytics, employing complex algorithms to sift through mountains of data and distill it into actionable intelligence. CM became the watchtower, the lookout providing early warnings of impending attacks. With the advent of artificial intelligence and machine learning, CIEM systems have been catapulted into a new age. AI has endowed SIEM with the ability to learn from historical data, improving its correlation capabilities and reducing the instances of false positives, which have long been a thorn in the side of analysts. Machine learning enables SIEM to adapt to an organization's unique environment, understanding what is normal to detect what is not. This self-learning capability is akin to a detective developing an intuition for crime, always sharpening their acumen. Moreover, SIEM has become instrumental in incident response. It not only detects breaches, but also assists in orchestrating a coordinated reaction. By integrating with other security systems, CM can automate responses such as isolating infected systems, blocking suspicious IP addresses, and even initiating countermeasures. In the heat of a cyber attack, time is of the essence. SIEM systems offer a playbook of responses, enabling rapid decision-making and action, mitigating damage and shortening recovery time. It's the equivalent of having a seasoned general at the helm during the throes of battle. Yet implementing and managing a CM system is not without its challenges. It requires a blend of skilled personnel, effective processes, and advanced technology. The sheer volume of data CM systems must process can be overwhelming, necessitating a fine-tuned balance between sensitivity and specificity. As the complexity of networks grows, with cloud services and the Internet of Things, CM must evolve to monitor an ever-widening perimeter. It must also contend with the sophisticated tactics of adversaries who are constantly devising new methods to evade detection. Looking to the horizon, the future of CM technology is bright with potential. Advances in predictive analytics and deep learning may one day allow CM systems to forecast attacks before they occur moving us from a posture of reaction to one of prevention. As we wrap up our discussion on security information and event management, we recognize it as a linchpin of cybersecurity strategy. CM stands as a testament to our collective resolve to understand, manage, and counter the threats in our digital world. It's a tool that not only looks into the data of our past, but also helps secure our future. In the layered defense strategy of cybersecurity, there lies a robust and dynamic shield, Endpoint Detection and Response, or EDR. This pivotal innovation represents a paradigm shift in how we protect the numerous devices that connect to our networks, the endpoints. However, as malware grew in sophistication, so too did the strategies to combat it. Malware authors began employing polymorphic code, digital chameleons constantly changing their appearance to evade detection. As cyber attackers grew more sophisticated, so too did the need for a more advanced form of endpoint protection. EDR emerged from the need to not just prevent, but also to detect and respond to threats that had evaded initial defenses. This constant vigilance allows for a more proactive stance. When a potential threat is detected, EDR systems don't just sound the alarm, they also provide detailed context about the threat, 
what it is, how it behaves, and what it affects. This is not just about catching known malware. It's about spotting suspicious behavior, like unusual network connections or file movements that could suggest a hacker's presence. EDR systems act as the cybersecurity equivalent of a detective, piecing together clues to stop adversaries in their tracks. This capability turns every endpoint into a responsive security entity. Instead of waiting for central command, endpoints with EDR can take defensive actions themselves, much like white blood cells attacking an infection in the body. Moreover, automation plays a crucial role in EDR. By automating certain responses to common threats, EDR systems free up human analysts to focus on more complex and nuanced security incidents, optimizing the use of expert resources. The day is not far when EDR systems will not just respond to threats, but anticipate and prevent them proactively, staying ahead of adversaries through predictive analytics and advanced threat modeling. As we conclude our exploration of endpoint detection and response, we acknowledge it as a critical component of modern cybersecurity. EDR is not just a product, it's a comprehensive approach to endpoint protection that embodies the dynamic and ever-adaptive spirit of cybersecurity. In the intricate dance of cybersecurity where every step is calculated and every movement scrutinized, we come to a profound innovation that has transformed the dance floor, behavioral detection and machine learning. This scene in our cyber narrative is not just about the steps taken, but the intent behind them, predicting moves before they're made. This is where behavioral detection came to prominence, a method that looks at how programs and users behave over time, noting deviations from established patterns. It's akin to a seasoned detective developing an intuition for when something doesn't quite fit the norm. Imagine a system that doesn't just look at the static attributes of a file, but monitors how it interacts within the system. Does it attempt to make registry changes? Does it try to connect to suspicious external servers? Behavioral detection observes these actions and raises the flag when actions seem to step out of line. These algorithms don't tire or overlook. They perpetually analyze and learn, becoming ever more accurate in their detections. They can see a file's behavior over time and predict its intent, stopping threats before they can execute their malicious payload. With machine learning, the cybersecurity systems we entrust become more than guardians. They become sage advisors, offering insights distilled from the vast sea of data they continuously analyze. They learn from the global threat landscape, adapting defenses not just for the individual organization, but informed by the collective experience of the entire digital ecosystem. As we refine these systems, the focus is on reducing false positives, conserving resources, and honing the precision of automated responses. The dance of cybersecurity becomes more intricate, demanding a choreography that balances sensitivity with specificity. The coming generation of cybersecurity solutions will likely be proactive entities, capable of understanding the normal so well that they can foresee the abnormal stopping attackers in their tracks with a symphony of automated defenses orchestrated by the silent conductor of AI. In the grand scheme of cybersecurity, behavioral detection and machine learning are not just tools. They are the harbingers of a new age of digital protection. They represent the evolution of defense from reactive to proactive, from programmed to predictive, safeguarding our digital journey into the future. In our digital narrative, where every byte and bit can be both shield and target, we explore the ascent of cloud-based EDR solutions, a testament to the ingenuity that thrives when faced with the vast, borderless expanse of the cloud. The answer came in the form of cloud-based EDR, a paradigm shift that leveraged the cloud's omnipresence for protection. It proposed a radical departure from traditional EDR software, which relied on localized databases and periodic updates. Imagine a system where the minutiae of definitions and updates are no longer a concern for the end user. Instead, they are managed in real time, in the vast computing farms of the cloud, ensuring immediate and up-to-date protection against the latest threats. This collaborative approach to threat detection means that when one user encounters a new threat, the entire network becomes immunized against it almost instantaneously, making cloud-based EDR a dynamic living defense system. Moreover, cloud EDR solutions provide a broader security perspective. They analyze global traffic patterns and user behavior, identifying and responding to emerging threats with a holistic view that localized software might miss. With each new data point, these machine learning algorithms refine their understanding of normal and abnormal, detecting anomalies with greater precision and responding to them with swifter, more effective actions. 
As we look towards the horizon, the potential for cloud-based EDR solutions is boundless. Integrated with other cloud security services, they promise a future where cybersecurity is as ubiquitous and seamless as the cloud itself. A shield in the sky, guarding the digital universe. Reflecting on the rise of cloud-based EDR, we see more than just a technological advancement. We see a shift in the very philosophy of cybersecurity. From localized defense to a distributed, communal form of protection that grows stronger with each new threat it faces. Yet, the path ahead for endpoint detection and response is strewn with challenges. As the Internet of Things expands, so too does the attack surface. Antivirus software must adapt to protect not just computers, but a myriad of connected devices, each with its own vulnerabilities. The future promises the development of even more proactive defense mechanisms, perhaps even autonomous response systems that can isolate and neutralize a threat before it can spread or cause harm. In reflecting upon the story of endpoint detection and response software and services, we are reminded of a perpetual arms race. It's a race where the stakes are high and the pace is relentless. But it is also a race that has spurred countless innovations in digital security, ensuring that for every new threat that emerges, a new line of defense rises to meet it. As we navigate the vast expanse of our digital universe, we arrive at a burgeoning frontier, cloud security. In this domain, data and applications transcend physical boundaries, and the need for robust security becomes paramount. This scene in our cybersecurity narrative is where traditional defenses are reimagined for the cloud's boundless skies. The journey into cloud security begins with the advent of cloud computing itself. As businesses and individuals started to migrate data off local servers and into the cloud, the question of security took on a new dimension. The cloud, with its distributed resources and shared environments, presented unique challenges that traditional security models were not designed to address. The cloud's shared responsibility model emerged, a doctrine delineating the security obligations of cloud providers and their users. This framework laid the foundation for a new approach to security, tailored to the cloud's architecture. As the cloud matured, so did its security measures. Encryption became the watchword for data at rest and in transit, ensuring that sensitive information remained opaque to unauthorized eyes, even within the multi-tenant environments that characterize cloud services. But encryption was just the beginning. Identity and access management, IAM systems evolved to govern who could access what within the cloud. They became the gatekeepers of the cloud, managing credentials, enforcing strong authentication, and ensuring that only the right entities had the right access. We then witnessed the emergence of Cloud Access Security Brokers, or KSBs. These brokers act as security liaisons between on-premises infrastructure and cloud providers, extending security controls into the cloud environment. They monitor activity, enforce policies, and offer visibility, a crucial component in a domain where data flows can be as elusive as the clouds themselves. The security narrative further unfolds with the advent of Secure Access Service Edge, or SaaS. This innovative model converges network security functions with WAN capabilities to support the dynamic, secure access needs of today's distributed enterprises. SaaS represents the future, where security is not tethered to location but is intrinsic to every data interaction, regardless of where it takes place. Amid these technological advancements, a principle took hold that would come to redefine cloud security, zero trust. This model operates on a simple maxim, trust nothing, verify everything. Zero trust eschews the notion of a secure perimeter and instead focuses on securing each access request, each transaction, no matter where it originates. In a zero trust framework, every device, user, and network flow is authenticated and authorized with continuous monitoring to ensure that security is never compromised. The cloud's fluid nature makes zero trust not just ideal, but essential. However, securing the cloud is not without its challenges. Visibility and control can be elusive in the cloud's distributed landscape. Traditional tools and methods do not always translate well to cloud architectures, prompting the development of cloud-native security tools designed to work within this new paradigm. Security teams must grapple with the ephemeral nature of cloud resources. Virtual machines spun up and down, containers orchestrated at a moment's notice, and services dynamically scaled. The cloud requires a security posture that is as agile and scalable as the services it's designed to protect. Looking ahead, the integration of artificial intelligence and automation stands to revolutionize cloud security. AI-driven security systems can analyze vast data sets to detect anomalies, 
automate threat responses, and manage the complex web of interdependencies that characterize cloud services. Automation, fueled by AI insights, can enforce security policies, manage configurations, and even orchestrate security across hybrid and multi-cloud environments. It is here that the potential for truly autonomous cloud security systems lies. As we draw the curtains on this scene of cloud security, we're left with a clear vision of its trajectory, one of continuous adaptation, innovation, and anticipation. The cloud security frontier is not just about securing today, it's about paving the way for a secure tomorrow in the ever-evolving cloud cosmos. As we continue our voyage through the cybersecurity landscape, we turn our attention to the most pivotal component of all, the human element. This scene in our story is not about machines or software, but about the people who use them, the individuals whose behaviors and decisions are the keystones in the archway of cyber defense. In the realm of cybersecurity, human vulnerability often presents a greater risk than any flaw in the hardware or software. It's an aspect of security that, despite its critical importance, was underestimated in the early stages of cyber defense strategy development. Humans are naturally inclined to trust, to seek convenience, and to stick to routines. Cyber attackers exploit these traits, using social engineering to deceive and manipulate. Phishing attacks, one of the most common and effective cyber threats, leverage these human tendencies to devastating effect. Recognizing this, the cybersecurity industry began to evolve. It wasn't enough to harden systems against intrusion. We had to strengthen human resolve against deception. Security awareness training programs started to become standard practice in organizations of all sizes. These programs aim to transform the workforce from the weakest link in the security chain into its strongest asset. Interactive training sessions, simulated phishing exercises, and regular updates about the latest threat tactics became tools to empower and educate. But training alone is not sufficient. Creating a cybersecurity culture within an organization is vital. This culture encourages vigilance and fosters an environment where security is everyone's responsibility. It's about making cybersecurity a fundamental value, as ingrained as any core mission statement. In such cultures, employees are not only trained to spot threats, but are also motivated to take proactive steps to mitigate them. They know that one wrong click can compromise an entire network and are thus more mindful of their digital actions. The psychological battlefield of cybersecurity is complex. Cyber attackers constantly devise new tactics to exploit cognitive biases. Therefore, the human element in cybersecurity isn't just about awareness. It's about creating systems and processes that are aligned with human behavior. These systems incorporate principles of behavioral science to nudge users towards secure practices. Password managers, for instance, reduce the cognitive burden of remembering complex passwords, while multi-factor authentication adds an additional layer of security that aligns with natural user workflows. One of the greatest challenges in this realm is maintaining vigilance. Complacency can easily creep in, and the dynamic nature of cyber threats means that what's taught today may be obsolete tomorrow. Continuous education and reinforcement of security protocols are therefore imperative. Moreover, the rise of remote work has expanded the threat landscape, making the human element even more critical. Employees working from home must be especially vigilant as they operate outside the traditional security perimeters of the office environment. As we cast our eyes to the future, the trajectory of human-centric security measures is clearly oriented towards personalization and adaptability. Future security tools will likely be designed to adapt to individual user behaviors, customizing security protocols to fit unique user profiles. Artificial intelligence and machine learning will play a pivotal role in this, providing the insights needed to tailor security measures to individual risk profiles. These technologies can help identify when a user's behavior deviates from their normal pattern, indicating a potential security threat. In summing up the role of the human element in cybersecurity, we acknowledge it as the nexus of security strategy. By investing in people, through training, culture, and tailored security solutions, we fortify our defenses not just with technology, but with the collective strength of human vigilance and adaptability. As our journey through the vast and intricate realm of cybersecurity continues, we take a moment to reflect on the expanded scenes we've traversed. From the sentinel-like vigilance of firewalls, to the cloud's boundless protective embrace, from the keen insights of machine learning to the responsive reflexes of endpoint detection and response systems, and finally to the profound and indispensable human element. We've witnessed a symphony of technologies and strategies, 
each playing a unique role in the grand concert of cybersecurity. The harmonious interplay between them is akin to a well-orchestrated symphony, where each instrument contributes to a larger, resounding success. Firewalls, once mere gatekeepers, have transformed into intelligent guardians, adapting and enforcing policies with the finesse of seasoned strategists. Antivirus and anti-malware software, the ever-vigilant sentries, have evolved to predict the unpredictable, harnessing, cloud-based intelligence to shield our digital endeavors. Endpoint detection and response systems stand as testament to our technological advancement, embodying the reflexes to respond to threats with precision. Machine learning and behavioral detection have brought about an era where cybersecurity systems learn and adapt, growing wiser with each thwarted attack. But the backbone of this narrative has always been the human element. It is the individual's awareness, the collective culture of vigilance, and the shared responsibility towards security that forms the bedrock of our digital safety. We now stare at the cloud security frontier and beyond. This scene unfolds the story of how cloud technology has reshaped the landscape of cybersecurity and what lies ahead as we venture into uncharted digital territories. The introduction of cloud computing marked a profound shift in the cybersecurity paradigm. Organizations began migrating their data, applications, and infrastructure to cloud environments, unlocking scalability and cost efficiency. However, this transition also introduced new security challenges. Traditional perimeter-based security models were no longer effective in a cloud-centric world. The boundaries of the network became nebulous, and security had to adapt accordingly. To address these challenges, a new category of solutions emerged. Cloud Security Posture Management CSPM, and Cloud Access Security Broker CASB, tools. These technologies provided visibility, compliance, and threat protection in cloud environments. CSPM tools enabled organizations to continuously assess their cloud security posture, identify misconfigurations, and remediate vulnerabilities. CASBs acted as gatekeepers, enforcing security policies for cloud applications and services. As organizations adopted multi-cloud strategies, the complexity of managing security across different cloud providers increased. Each cloud had its own unique security controls and interoperability challenges emerged. To meet these challenges, Security Orchestration and Automation Platforms, SOAR, and Cloud Native Security Tools became essential. They provided centralized management and automation capabilities for multi-cloud security. The horizon of cybersecurity extends beyond the cloud to the edge, a world of interconnected devices, IoT, and 5G networks. Securing the edge presents new frontiers and unprecedented threats. Edge security solutions, including Zero Trust Network Access, ZTNA, and Software Defined Perimeter, SDP technologies, have emerged to protect data and devices at the edge. They embrace a never trust, always verify approach. The future of cybersecurity in cloud and edge environments hinges on the growing role of artificial intelligence and automation. AI-powered threat detection and response, coupled with orchestration and response SOAR platforms, will be instrumental in tackling advanced threats. Automation will streamline security operations, enabling rapid threat mitigation and reducing the burden on cybersecurity teams. However, human expertise will remain indispensable in interpreting AI-generated insights and making strategic security decisions. As we conclude this discussion on the cloud security frontier and beyond, we stand at the precipice of a new digital era. Cloud technology and edge computing have reshaped our digital landscape, presenting both challenges and opportunities. In this ever-evolving cyber narrative, the future promises to be as dynamic as the technology itself. As our journey through the cybersecurity landscape unfolds, we turn our attention to the evolving realm of operational technology, OT security a domain that distinctively sets itself apart from information technology, IT, security. In this segment, we delve into the key differences that define OT security, illuminating its unique challenges and strategies. Operational technology, OT, refers to the hardware and software used to monitor and control physical processes, such as manufacturing, energy production, and transportation. Unlike IT, which primarily deals with data and information, OT is all about the physical world. In the past, OT systems operated in isolated environments with little connectivity to external networks. But as digitalization sweeps across industries and the Internet of Things, IoT proliferates, the boundaries between IT and OT blur, giving rise to a complex and interconnected landscape. In the realm of operational technology OT security, 
There exists a fundamental truth, an unwavering principle that stands as the bedrock of this domain. It's a truth that sets OT security apart from its information technology, IT, counterpart, and that underscores the criticality of reliability. Operational technology, OT, is the realm where systems must function with unfaltering reliability. Unlike IT, where minor glitches can often be resolved with minimal impact, in OT the stakes are immeasurably higher. Imagine for a moment a power plant, a massive, intricate system where OT is at the heart of electricity generation. Here, every operation, every sequence of events must unfold with meticulous precision. Any deviation, any failure could lead to a catastrophic blackout. In the manufacturing industry, OT orchestrates a symphony of robotic arms, conveyor belts, and machinery. The precision required is nothing short of miraculous. A slight malfunction, even for a fraction of a second, can result in defective products, production delays, and significant financial losses. And in the domain of transportation, OT governs the safe and efficient movement of trains, planes, and automobiles. The reliability of these systems is non-negotiable as any malfunction could lead to accidents with dire consequences. But it's not just about machines. The human element in OT is equally critical. Operators, engineers, and technicians are the custodians of these systems. Their expertise ensures that every operation proceeds without error. OT security is not solely about protecting against external cyber threats. It's about ensuring that the entire ecosystem, including the people who operate and maintain it, can rely on these systems every moment of every day. In OT, the margin for error is razor thin. A cyber attack, a system glitch, or even a momentary lapse in reliability can have far-reaching consequences. It's a world where uptime isn't just a convenience, it's a lifeline. The criticality of reliability and OT security cannot be overstated. It's the reason why cybersecurity measures in this realm are meticulously designed, tested, and fortified. In a world where even a split-second failure is intolerable, reliability is the ultimate goal. As we navigate the intricate landscape of OT security, one thing remains clear. Reliability is the heartbeat of this domain. It's the unwavering commitment to keeping the lights on, the wheels turning, and the world moving forward. In the relentless pursuit of reliability, OT security professionals stand as guardians of industries that depend on the flawless operation of their systems. It's a mission they embrace, for they understand that in the world of OT, reliability isn't an option, it's a necessity. In the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity, we shine a spotlight on a unique facet, the realm of operational technology, OT. Within this domain, we encounter a distinctive challenge, the coexistence of legacy systems with unprecedented longevity. Operational technology, OT, encompasses the hardware and software responsible for overseeing and controlling physical processes. Unlike information technology, IT, where systems can swiftly evolve, OT often relies on equipment and systems with remarkable longevity. Consider for a moment the industrial world, a place where OT reigns supreme. Here, you'll find machinery and control systems that have faithfully served their purpose for decades. In sectors like manufacturing and energy, some equipment can endure for half a century or more. These legacy systems are like time capsules, preserving the technology of their era. While they've stood the test of time in terms of reliability, they also present a unique challenge. They may lack the modern security features we've come to expect. In the world of IT, security patches and updates are common practice, swiftly applied to safeguard against emerging threats. But in OT, it's a different story. Updating these legacy systems is a meticulous process that must ensure security without disrupting critical operations. As digitalization sweeps across industries and the Internet of Things, IoT, proliferates, the challenge of integrating legacy OT systems with modern technology becomes apparent. It's like bridging the gap between generations. Organizations must navigate this delicate balance, ensuring that legacy systems continue to operate reliably while modernizing their cybersecurity measures. The goal, to protect critical infrastructure without sacrificing the reliability of time-tested equipment. Legacy systems, while enduring, may lack the built-in security features that today's threats demand. This raises questions about how to secure these systems effectively without compromising their core functions. OT security professionals face the task of retrofitting security onto systems designed in a different era. It's a complex dance that requires a deep understanding of both legacy technology and modern cybersecurity practices. Despite the challenges, legacy systems have a legacy of their own, reliability. 
They've powered industries, kept the lights on, and fueled progress for decades. Preserving their reliability while enhancing their security is a testament to the adaptability of cybersecurity in the OT realm. As we journey through the intricacies of OT security, we're reminded that the past and the present must harmonize. Legacy systems with their longevity are an integral part of the OT landscape. It's a landscape where history and innovation intersect, where the old and the new find common ground in the pursuit of security. In the world of cybersecurity, the human element is a factor that cannot be overlooked. Now, as we delve into the realm of operational technology, OT security, we uncover a facet where human expertise and vigilance are paramount. Operational technology, OT, stands as the guardian of the physical world, controlling and monitoring processes in industries like manufacturing, energy, and transportation. Amidst the machinery and digital interfaces, the human element plays an irreplaceable role. Imagine a control room in a power plant where operators oversee the operation of turbines and generators. Their experience and expertise are invaluable, ensuring that these critical systems function flawlessly. In the manufacturing sector, skilled technicians and engineers are the custodians of intricate machinery. Their hands-on knowledge not only ensures efficiency, but also safeguards against errors that could result in production delays or defects. And in the world of transportation, pilots, engineers, and ground personnel work in harmony to ensure safe and efficient travel. Their training and vigilance are the linchpins of the industry's safety record. The human element in OT is not just about operation, it's about security. Operators and technicians must be well-versed in the cybersecurity measures specific to their industry. They are the first line of defense against threats, both external and internal. Their actions can prevent accidents, protect critical infrastructure, and ensure the continued reliability of OT systems. However, the human element also presents challenges. Unintentional errors, negligence, or even malicious actions by insiders can compromise security. This underscores the need for robust training and a culture of cybersecurity awareness. In OT security, it's not just about securing the technology, it's about empowering the people who operate it. Training programs, certifications, and ongoing education are essential to keep the human element vigilant and prepared. As we navigate the intricacies of OT security, we recognize that the human element is both the strength and the vulnerability of this realm. It's a world where expertise and diligence are essential, where the guardians of precision stand as sentinels of safety. In the convergence of technology and human skill, OT security finds its resilience. It's a partnership where the digital world meets the physical, safeguarded by those who understand the intricacies of both. In the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity, a powerful concept has emerged, collaborative defense. As we journey through this realm, we uncover the pivotal role it plays in safeguarding digital landscapes. Collaborative defense is a paradigm shift that acknowledges the interconnectedness of the digital world. It's a recognition that no organization, no matter its size or expertise, can stand alone in the face of evolving cyber threats. Imagine an organization's digital infrastructure as a fortress. In the past, it relied solely on its own defenses, firewalls, antivirus software, and intrusion detection systems to ward off attackers. However, as cyber threats have grown in sophistication and scale, the fortress mentality is no longer sufficient. Attackers can exploit vulnerabilities from various entry points, making it essential for organizations to join forces. Collaborative defense is a strategy where organizations actively share threat intelligence, insights, and best practices. It's a collective effort to detect, respond to, and mitigate cyber threats collaboratively. Imagine a network of organizations across industries, all contributing their knowledge about emerging threats. This shared intelligence creates a dynamic defense ecosystem that's far more resilient than any individual entity. It's not just about sharing threat data. It's about fostering a culture of collaboration. Organizations recognize that by helping others, they also enhance their own security posture. Collaborative defense is facilitated by information sharing platforms and industry-specific information sharing and analysis centers, ISACs. These platforms serve as hubs for exchanging critical threat intelligence. Government agencies, private sector companies, and cybersecurity experts all play a role in this ecosystem. They come together to analyze threats, devise countermeasures, and disseminate vital information in real time. As we navigate the world of collaborative defense, we see a unified front against cyber threats. 
It's a world where organizations recognize that their collective strength far exceeds the sum of their individual efforts. In this paradigm, the digital landscape becomes a safer place. It's a testament to the power of cooperation in the face of adversity, a reminder that in the realm of cybersecurity, unity is strength. We're left with a profound realization. Collaborative defense is not just a strategy, it's a philosophy. It's a philosophy that shapes the future of cybersecurity, where organizations stand together, resilient and unyielding in the face of an ever-evolving threat landscape. As we embark on our journey through the ever-evolving landscape of operational technology, OT, security, we turn our gaze toward the future, a future shaped by innovation, resilience, and unwavering dedication. The future of OT security is a landscape where innovation reigns supreme. It's a world where emerging technologies and cutting-edge practices converge to safeguard critical infrastructure and operations. Imagine a power grid where autonomous drones patrol transmission lines, detecting anomalies before they lead to outages. Picture industrial robots equipped with AI-driven cybersecurity measures, defending manufacturing processes in real time. Artificial intelligence AI, becomes a sentinel, continuously monitoring OT systems for signs of cyber threats. Machine learning algorithms adapt and evolve, staying one step ahead of attackers. In this future, predictive analytics become the norm. OT professionals leverage data to foresee potential issues and proactively address them, minimizing disruptions and ensuring reliability. Critical infrastructure sectors, from energy to transportation, embrace a culture of resilience. They invest in redundancy, backup systems, and rapid recovery protocols to withstand cyber attacks and natural disasters. Government agencies, private sector organizations, and cybersecurity experts form collaborative networks that transcend borders. They share threat intelligence seamlessly, creating a global defense ecosystem. The human element remains essential, but it's augmented by technology. Cybersecurity professionals receive advanced training in AI and automation, becoming the guardians of the digital realm. As we envision the future of OT security, we see a world where resilience, innovation, and collaboration converge. It's a world where the lessons of the past empower us to navigate the challenges of tomorrow. In this future, critical infrastructure stands unwavering, industries thrive, and the digital landscape becomes a bastion of security. It's a vision realized through unwavering dedication to protecting what matters most. As we wrap up our exploration of OT security, we're reminded that the future is shaped by the actions we take today. It's a future where resilience, innovation, and collaboration are the keystones of a secure digital world. Cybersecurity is not a destination but a continuous journey. It is a narrative punctuated by human ingenuity and collaborative effort, by lessons learned and victories won. As we move forward, let us carry with us the knowledge that our security is woven from a fabric of collective resolve, innovative spirit, and the unyielding pursuit of a safer digital tomorrow. Fast forward to the horizon of 2024 and beyond, and we find ourselves in a cybersecurity landscape that's not just evolved but has undergone a radical transformation. This segment is a glimpse into the future, where cybersecurity has reached new heights, facing unprecedented challenges and opportunities. The year 2024 marks the advent of quantum computing, a technological leap that also threatens existing encryption methods. Cybersecurity is at the forefront of the quantum resistance movement, with the development of post-quantum cryptography that can withstand the computational power of quantum computers. Organizations are racing to implement quantum-safe encryption protocols to protect their sensitive data. Quantum Key Distribution QKD, is becoming the new standard for secure communications. Autonomous cybersecurity systems have taken center stage. AI and machine learning algorithms analyze vast datasets in real time, detecting and mitigating threats autonomously. Human intervention remains vital, but it's more strategic, focusing on interpreting AI-generated insights and refining security strategies. These AI-driven defenses not only respond to known threats but also predict and adapt to emerging ones. 
They leverage threat intelligence networks that share data globally to stay one step ahead of cyber criminals. IoT devices have proliferated, connecting everything from homes to cities. While these devices offer convenience, they also introduce new security challenges. Security frameworks for IoT are essential to protect against cyber physical threats. Zero Trust Architecture ZTA, is the foundation of IoT security, ensuring that every device, regardless of its location, is continuously authenticated and authorized before accessing network resources. In 2024 and beyond, the digital economy is more resilient than ever. Blockchain technology secures transactions and supply chains, while decentralized applications DApps, ensure data integrity. Smart contracts automate complex agreements with trustless execution. However, new digital currencies and financial systems have also attracted cyber criminals. Robust security measures are in place to protect decentralized finance, DeFi, platforms and digital assets. Ethical hacking has matured into a respected profession. Ethical hackers, or white hats, actively collaborate with organizations to identify vulnerabilities before malicious actors can exploit them. Bug bounty programs have become commonplace, incentivizing security researchers to find and report vulnerabilities. Governments and private enterprises invest heavily in cybersecurity education and training. A skilled and ethical workforce is crucial in the ongoing battle against cyber threats. Throughout this future landscape, the human element remains indispensable. Cybersecurity professionals are not just technicians but strategic thinkers, risk assessors, and educators. They bridge the gap between technology and business, ensuring that security aligns with organizational goals. Cybersecurity is no longer seen as a mere cost but as an investment in the future. It's integrated into business strategies, ensuring that digital innovation and security go hand in hand. The continued evolution of cybersecurity stands on the precipice of a digital frontier that promises both challenges and possibilities. The future of cybersecurity is a testament to human ingenuity, adaptability, and the unwavering commitment to protecting the digital realm. And so, our story continues, ever-evolving, just like the world of cybersecurity. We stand watchful on the ramparts of the digital age, guardians of a future where technology and humanity converge, where the threats we face only serve to strengthen the defenses we build. Together, we march onward, into the bites and bits of an unwritten future, ready to meet its challenges head-on. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the evolution of cybersecurity, we find ourselves at a crossroads where the past, present, and future intersect in a tapestry of evolving challenges and innovative solutions. This concluding segment is a tapestry that weaves together the threads of our narrative, offering a panoramic view of the cybersecurity landscape. Our journey began by unraveling the very fabric of the digital world. We explored the inception of cybersecurity, the digital revolution's birth, and the vital role of cryptography in safeguarding our online secrets. In this digital realm, we uncovered the enigmatic world of hackers, the pioneers of cybersecurity, and the essential principles that laid the foundation for the defenses we rely upon today. With the advent of digitalization, society's growing dependence on technology became evident. We examined the symbiotic relationship between technological innovation and the need for robust cybersecurity. From the evolution of operating systems to the interconnectedness of our lives, this dependence brought about a new era of challenges and opportunities. Early warnings from experts echoed through the corridors of time, their voices laden with concerns that, at the time, fell largely unheeded. We reflected on their prescient insights and the consequences of underestimating the evolving cyber threats. These voices serve as a reminder that in the digital realm, foresight is as vital as hindsight and collaboration among experts and decision-makers is crucial in charting a secure path forward. The landscape shifted dramatically when the first major cyber attack shattered illusions of invulnerability. We dissected the impact of this seminal event, underscoring how it transformed the perception of digital security. 
this turning point highlighted the urgency of fortifying our digital defenses and established the notion that cybersecurity is not a luxury but a necessity. The wake-up call rang loud and clear, resonating through organizations and governments alike. We delved into how these attacks prompted a renewed focus on cybersecurity, inspiring innovative strategies and technologies. The alarm sounded, and the world took notice, realizing that cyber threats were not mere nuisances but serious challenges that demanded strategic responses. The emergence of a burgeoning cybersecurity industry emerged as a testament to humanity's capacity to adapt. We marveled at how this industry rapidly grew and evolved to meet the ever-expanding cyber threats. From threat intelligence to penetration testing, the cybersecurity industry diversified and specialized, becoming an indispensable force in the battle for digital security. Innovation became the lifeblood of our digital defenses. We observed how key innovations and strategies sprouted to protect our digital assets, from intrusion detection and prevention systems to encryption and machine learning. These innovations showcased our ability to not only react to threats but to anticipate and preempt them, forging a path toward proactive cybersecurity. Intrusion detection and prevention systems emerged as stalwart guardians, capable of identifying and thwarting threats in real time. Their rise marked a shift from passive defense to active, adaptive protection. As cyber adversaries grew in sophistication, these systems stood resilient, adapting and learning from each encounter, ensuring that the digital fortresses remained impervious. The evolution of encryption served as a bulwark against prying eyes. We traced the lineage of digital encryption from its nascent roots to the advent of quantum-safe cryptography. In an era of quantum computing, encryption became not just a shield but an unbreakable seal guarding our most sensitive information. The birth of the firewall marked a pivotal moment in cybersecurity history. We explored how these digital gatekeepers evolved from humble packet filters to intelligent, adaptable sentinels. Firewalls became not just rule enforcers but strategic protectors, capable of understanding the context of network traffic and responding with precision. Antivirus and anti-malware software emerged as stalwart defenders against digital infections. We delved into their role in identifying and neutralizing malicious code, safeguarding our devices and data, and how these solutions evolved into cloud-based endpoint detection and response solutions. From signature-based detection to heuristic analysis, these digital guardians evolved, staying ahead of the ever-evolving malware threat landscape. SIEM systems acted as vigilant observers, aggregating and analyzing vast volumes of security data. We scrutinized their role in providing actionable insights to security professionals. SIEM brought order to the chaos of security logs, offering a panoramic view of an organization's security posture and the ability to respond decisively to threats. Endpoint detection and response systems became the watchful eyes and swift hands of cybersecurity. We examined how they identified and mitigated threats at the device level. These systems evolved into intelligent sentinels, capable of autonomously responding to threats and collaborating with other security layers. Behavioral detection and machine learning infused cybersecurity with predictive power. We explored how these technologies discerned anomalies and predicted emerging threats. The synergy between human expertise and machine learning algorithms paved the way for proactive cybersecurity, shifting the balance in favor of defenders. Cloud-based antivirus solutions revolutionized threat detection and response. We unraveled their role in harnessing the collective intelligence of the cloud to protect users from evolving threats. These solutions leveraged the speed and scale of the cloud, ensuring that users remain shielded from the latest threats, even in the ever-changing digital landscape. The advent of cloud technology reshaped the cybersecurity landscape. We marveled at how organizations embraced the cloud while adapting to new security challenges. From cloud security posture management to the complexities of multi-cloud environments, we ventured into uncharted digital territories, fortified by AI-driven defenses and the promise of quantum resistance. As we fast forward to 2024 and beyond, we stand on the brink of a quantum era, where autonomous defenses, IoT security, 
and resilient digital economies redefine cybersecurity. Ethical hacking, blockchain technology, and the enduring importance of the human element underscore the ever-evolving nature of this digital narrative. And now, as our journey through the evolution of cybersecurity concludes, we are reminded that cybersecurity is not merely a field of study. It's a testament to human resilience and innovation. The digital realm may present challenges, but it also offers boundless possibilities. It calls upon us to safeguard the digital future, where security and innovation walk hand in hand. In this ever-evolving cyber saga, we find hope in the knowledge that, with each challenge overcome, we emerge stronger and more prepared. Together, we shape the narrative of cybersecurity, ensuring that the digital realm remains a place of freedom, innovation, and above all, security. Thank you for accompanying us on this amazing journey throughout the history of cybersecurity. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and to also visit us at www.rockcyber.com. Thank you.